Hi everyone, you reach Chronicles of the Gray Hair Diva. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here today with a quick video about Steve Harvey and the cancel culture. Every single word he says in this Variety article, I agree with wholeheartedly. So let's get into it. It says Steve Harvey slams cancel culture and says political correctness has killed comedy. And I 100% agree. Um, it's not only killed comedy, it killed people from being able to voice their true opinions, from being able to say anything, because literally every word that comes out your mouth is judged and it's just craziness. But let's continue. So it says Steve Harvey slammed cancel culture at the Television Critics Association press tour while promoting his new ABC daytime courtroom series. Judge Steve Harvey is the name of the show. The television host said that it would be impossible, and I agree with him, for him to do a comedy special in today's climate because cancel court culture will cost him his courtroom show and his career. And it's so true. If he were to go on a comedy tour and do comedy like they used to do in the past. I mean, I have been to comedy shows where they talked about the black people, the white people, the yellow people, the orange people. They talked about every single body. And I mean, they would go off and they didn't care. And so many people would just sit there and laugh and you would get a good laugh out of it. And no one was so sensitive to every word that was coming out of the comedian mouth. And no, not every comedian that was up there. I had been to um, com um, comedy shows where a black person was talking about the black people. So it, it, it's not like it's not like every comedian up on the stage was just spilling hatred. They was just making jokes. And in their real life, they wasn't, you know, that same type of person. They wasn't trying to hurt or harm anybody. They just wanted people to laugh. But now those um, same jokes and just wanting people to laugh will have everybody coming for you like you just hate the world you hate different cultures it's so messy so he's right if he was to go on tour and, and not have um jokes that was just politically correct they would cancel him it would cost him everything so let's continue the only way i can do one more special if it, he said, is if it's at the end of my television career, because it will end my television career. Um, he said, we're in the cancel culture now. No stand up that is sponsor driven can say anything they want to say. So he said, no stand up con um, co comedian whose career is based on sponsors are able to say what they want to say. He said Chris Rock can't, Kevin Hart can't, Cedric the Entertainer can't, D.L. Hughley can't. He said, I can go down the list. He said the only person that could say what they want on stage is Dave Chappelle because he is not sponsor-driven. He is subscription-driven. So what he's saying is if you are a comedian and your career is based on specials that you do on Netflix because people have to subscribe to Netflix. If you do um, specials that are on Prime, Amazon Prime, because people have to subscribe to that. He said, so anything that people subscribe to, you can probably say what you want because it's a little different. But if it's, um, your career is based on sponsors like, you know, Nike or something like that, there's no way you can get on that stage and say what you want if you want to continue to be sponsored by those different brands. So he said the only way he would be able to do it, if he plans to never be on TV, never be seen again, then he could perhaps go on tour and say whatever the heck he wants to say. This cancel um, uh, um, culture is just a joke. It's so unfair. And do, although I think there are some people who are mean-spirited that they cancel, that's one thing. But other people, 
just because they say a smidgen of something you don't like, people are raising the flag and they're like cancel them, which is just crazy. Let's finish um, this article and see what else Steve has to say. He said, um, it says in this article, Chappelle generated controversy last year for anti-transgender um, jokes made on his Netflix special, The Closer. Um, despite the outrage, Netflix stood by the comedian and did not pull the special from its streaming platform or in his working relationship with him. Chappelle is set to appear at Netflix's upcoming comedy festival, Netflix is a Joke, later this year. So that's what Steve is saying. He was saying that as long as, you know, you don't have outside sponsors, you can probably get away with it because Chappelle seems to get away with it. And Dave Chappelle, Netflix did stand by what Dave Chappelle did in his special, The Closer. Now, I've seen some pieces of it. Um, I didn't think it was as controversial as everyone was saying, but that is my opinion. Um, he said, if I had tried to continue as a stand-up, there is no way I could maintain it. Harvey told reporters, he said, political correctness has killed comedy. Every joke you, na you tell now, it hurts somebody's feelings. But what people don't understand about comedians is that a joke has to be about something. It has to be about somebody. We can't write joke about jokes about puppies all the time. He said the joke can be about um, it can't be about bushes all the time. Some of these jokes will have to be about people because that's the most interesting topic. So if I come back, I have to wait until I'm done, and I'm not done. I want to do more. I probably have to call it this is it um call it this is it so harvey courtroom series um judge steve harvey um it started to run on january 4th i did see it you know it's all right a lot of these judge shows when they have someone that's not actually a judge um it, it, it's okay i i i mean steve harvey has done his thing in these tv shows and I do happen to like Steve Harvey, but I really, really like Steve Harvey on Family Feud. For whatever reason, I just feel like that show was just meant to be for, him, for Steve Harvey. I think he's so funny on Family Feud. And I think all the families, they really connect with him and love him. Almost like they did kind of the original host. And I want to say the original host has since passed, but I feel like Steve Harvey fits into the family feud hosting role very well but let's close out and let me give you my final opinion on the cancel culture i want to cancel the cancel culture that's how i feel about it i think that you know in this world people should be allowed to state their opinion none of us have to always agree we have to sometimes agree to disagree i think we have to learn to get along and not be so mad at people just because they say something we don't like. It's like we always find things to divide us. And I think the things that we find to divide us, you know, if we really look at it, 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 it we, we shouldn't let those things divide us. So right now, I think the thing that is dividing the world is the vax the vaccination the people who believe in the vaccination and the people who don't believe in the vaccination and i have seen some people get into the most heated arguments over this vaccination and i'm just saying to myself it's so crazy okay if you don't believe in the vaccination i don't have to hate you and if i believe in the vaccination you don't have to hate me and neither one of us need to cancel each other. It's just so ridiculous. So I just hope soon we get back to the non-cancel society. I hope we start to understand again that everybody has the right to their opinion. And also understand that you don't have to agree with everyone's opinion. It's okay. We're going to survive. The world spins around so nicely and it's not boring. And the reason why it's not boring is because everybody has their own thought process. Everybody has their own opinion. And we just have to respect everyone's opinion. And laughing is so good for the mind, the body, and the soul. And if we don't allow the comedians who job it is to just make us laugh, 
get back to what they really do allow them to say whatever it is they want to say and i'm not saying that we should have someone that just is consistently on the stage maybe spilling hate and just um nasty mean stuff i'm not saying that but if a comedian wants to joke around and you know i'll talk about my own culture so i won't offend anybody else but if i go to a comedy show and a comedian wants to joke around and said, wow, you black people really love fried chicken. I'm not going to leave and be like, cancel that comedian. Um, that comedian is just racist and all of this other stuff. I'm not going to lose my mind. It is a joke. Now, it's different if you have a comedian on the stage saying it versus someone, you know, just random coming up to me and saying something crazy. I don't know, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Chat with me in the comments. How do you feel about this cancel culture? Don't you wish or do you wish that we cancel the cancel culture? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. When you get an opportunity, chat with me in the comments and I will chat back. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.